hey y'all so i really need money and i'm low-key wet at crocheting so if you want a cute top or something hit me up i'm too scared to talk to girls so i had to model this myself <laughs> oh <laughs> can i have a hat 15 dollars. i can knit it myself though then i can do it <laughs> What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Neil, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the hot posts from r slash choosing beggars. Let's get into it. $200 sold. Let me know. I can pay with PayPal instantly. Nah, $350 lowest. I've come out of domestic violence marriage and left some things behind. Not my problem. How rude you are. Wow. Yeah, but this other dude didn't even consider. What if that $350 was for this guy's sick wife? How rude he is. Wow. <laughs> hey, where'd you put my headphones after you used them? I can't find them. I have them. Oh, can you bring them or can I come get them? Why? You said I could have them. What? When? When I slept over, you told me you had some for me when I asked? Yeah, for you to borrow. That night. Not for you to keep. Oh, well, I'm still using them. I don't have any. Can I just keep them? No, those were a Christmas gift and my only wireless headphones. It's not like they're AirPods or anything. Just get a new pair. What? They were still like $250 headphones. But you said I could have them. Just get whoever gave them to you to buy you new ones. Please give back my headphones. <laughs> I think the biggest thing for photographers is giving free work. Really dude? You're one of the most famous YouTubers, which means you got at least a little bit of money and you're begging for free photography. Bruh. I gave away a house to a single mom and I don't recommend it. I was working for a house flipper doing the actual renovations and he offered to sell me a property very cheaply that he had bought but didn't think it was worth flipping because it would never be worth much because it was small, plus or minus 900 square feet, and the neighborhoods was not terrible, but not on the way up anytime soon. I was thinking I might try renting it, so renovated it, bought all new appliances, new floor, new tub, new toilet, AC, heater, new sewer line, etc. It took about 6 months of weekends to finish. Meanwhile, I had talked to a bunch of mom and pop landlords and realized that I just did not have the temperament to be a successful property manager. Plus, my wife had just been diagnosed with Crohn's. I looked into selling, but anyone who was interested was pretty slimy and wanted to offer me substantially less than what I had already put into it, so I said F it. I'm gonna give it to a family that really needs a house. First, we approached a local Jewish charity, my wife's Jewish, and they straight up told me that they used to donate houses but had been so badly burned they no longer did so, and beware. Next place was a local branch of a huge national charity. They were happy to take the house off our hands, auction it off, and then take 15% of the sale and donate it to a local homeless shelter. The remaining 85% was for administrative costs. We declined. A month or two later, a friend of a neighbor approached us about a young single mom going to the local community college to become an ultrasound tech, but just couldn't get her feet underneath her due to housing issues. Perfect. After six or so weeks, the new owner called and told me I needed to fix the plumbing. I was like, not my house. Did you call Roto-Rooter? She said, money? I had kept copies of the receipts for tax reasons, so I copied them and brought them to her. At the house, I saw that none of the appliances at the house were the ones I bought, except that the stove and the dishwasher and washing machine combo were just gone. Plus, it wasn't just her and her daughter living there. Her mom, her mom's girlfriend, and the girlfriend's grown son were all living in that tiny place. A few months later, I found out she had taken a mortgage on the place, but wasn't paying it because she called me and wanted me to pay the mortgage and then rent to own the place back to her. I declined, so then she left a bunch of trashy, threatening stuff on my wife's various social media pages, both personal and her work-related sites. Eventually, it stopped. I was homeless as a young adult and thought it would be great to help someone in that situation. But, nope. Ah, it's true. No good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> 
Hi, how are you? I'm living with both my sons and our electricity was shut off. Can you help us anyway? I know who you are. Okay, can you help me and my sons? Who's your electric company? Pepk. Peco. Call their number. I've done this with Central Hudson before. And ask for a bill pay extension. Also, I think it's illegal to shut off electricity in the coldest months. Well, they did. What's their number and your address? I'll make the complaint as a cop. Huh, no, that's okay. Call the police then, because it's illegal for them to do so whether you pay or not. Do you just need money for something else? Wouldn't want your sons in the cold. I got a son now, and watching him be cold sucks. Well, they said unless I pay $87, I'm beat. Uh, can I get your account number? I'll pay that via phone call. Hey, I just called the number and tried to pay your bill, but they couldn't let me know what your account balance is unless I have your address or account number. So I tried. Send me $87 and I'll pay and send you the receipt. But why though? He's offering to pay it for you right now. Oh wait, that's right. You don't want it to pay your bill. You don't even have that bill. You just want it for some booze or some drugs or whatever. Scumbag. Is your dresser taken? Can you deliver to my place? It's available, but you'd have to pick it up because I don't have a truck. Me neither. I need it today. My address is this. I'm sorry. Other people are willing to come pick it up. So if you can't, I'll let them have it. But I asked first. Yes, but I'm giving it away for free. So come get it or I'll give it to somebody else. Even if you have to come another day, I'm willing to wait. I need this today. Here's my address. <laughs> oh, this dude is being way too polite to this choosing beggar. I would have let it go right away. We've decided to make this thing official with signage. We truly don't care if you're an influencer or how many followers you have. We will never give you a free ice cream in exchange for a post on your social media page. It's literally a $4 item. Well, now it's $8 for you. Hashtag influencers are gross. <laughs> Yeah, these kinds are definitely gross. Like, if you actually had a good following, you'd probably have some money, and $4? You wouldn't even bat an eye at that. Ugh. One star. An extremely irresponsible person said she would take care of my dog. I booked two months in advance, so there was no surprises. Of course, she canceled 20 days before the date. Wow, 20 days? It's almost like you had no time to reschedule. Giving some lame excuse about someone's funeral to be held in three weeks time. No recommendation for her. <laughs> what a rude person having somebody close to her die. <laughs> Disgusting. Response from the owner. I'm very sorry for this last cancellation. It was also for me something that I didn't expect and really hard to handle. It's a very complicated situation. I can send you a picture of the invitation from the funeral and know that this was not an excuse more than a painful situation. I hope you can find someone to take care of your dog. Have a nice day. Huh. Well, with 20 days, you should be able to find somebody else to take care of your dog. As you can see, I haven't really written or started anything. Thoughts on how we should do this? Thanks. Uh, can you just do all the work and sign our names, lol? I forget what we're even supposed to be doing. Hate this class anyways. Try to get us a B plus or an A minus though, like just enough to show we care, but not too much where our teacher friend will expect it from us again. You're a smart kid, you'll figure it out. Also, I'm drunk, so if I help you right now, we'll death fail. IDK, what do you think? <laughs> uh, at least he's drunk, cause that's like mildly an excuse, but it really shows this dude's true character. And his character is a bad one. <laughs> All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash choosing beggars. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.